Hello guys, welcome to Photographics Academy. Alright, so in this one, we're going to be learning how to smooth your skin in just a few minutes without losing the skin texture. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make a duplicate of this background layer two times. Then I'm going to name this lower one color. Then I'm going to name this one texture. Yep. Alright, so the next thing you need to do is to disable the texture layer. Very important. Then go straight to your color. Go to your filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur. Now, at this point, you need to understand that if your Gaussian blur is high between, especially with this kind of image between 8 to 14, you are going to end up not getting a skin that is so smooth. But that is also going to help you retain a lot more uh, texture. Then if you go something lower, you are going to end up with something very smooth and still uh we'll be able to lose some textures if that is what you wish now the cheat code to this is to take it all the way to zero then click on any part of the skin that you know okay i think this place has texture then start zooming start increasing your radius rather so just be reducing the radius and be looking at that at this box over here the moment the texture disappears yeah the moment the texture disappears you stop then you check around other areas like this area still has some textures so we'll keep it somewhere around seven yeah this one is gone so i think seven works perfectly for this image then press okay so the, the next thing is to open up your texture layer right now go to your image go to your apply image then make sure that the layer is set to color so that because we are working on this color then change your blend mode to subtract very important and make sure your scale and offset is 2 and 128 respectively. Then press OK. Now, after doing that, change your blend mode to linear light. So let's find our linear light. OK, it's here already. Press OK. Now you will notice that the effect of what we did just disappeared. No, it's not that it disappeared. It means that we subtracted the color from the texture and the texture from the color. So we just separated these two components of this image separately so we can work on each of them separately that is the idea of what we did then hold your control select the lower layer uh press ctrl g to group it so the moment you do before and after over the group and you are seeing an effect on the image know that something is wrong with your own setting because this group is a combination of both the color and the texture which means what you have down here is the same thing with what you have up here so if you are doing before and after and you are seeing a change it means it's different from what you have down here which means something is wrong with your setting now let's get down to how to use this and smooth your skin open up the group go to your color pick up your lasso tool so i'm going to use this one it's very quickly it's very quick and it's going to give you massive results then zoom in on your skin yeah don't worry about the blemishes we'll fix that so you can decide to keep your feather at 10 or decide to keep it at uh 15 depending on what you want to do per time so one of the ways to know if you should retain the feather you added or not is once you make a selection with the lasso tool press your q without the control just your q it's going to give you a preview of what your selection looks like with a a, a red overlay behind it so if you do that let me do it with something low maybe let's try somewhere around one so if you do that and you notice that the edges are too sharp like this one over here then it is not going to work so what you need to do is to pick up a feather that is going to just make the edges smooth so it doesn't end up looking rough at the end of the day so i kept mine at 13 so I'm just going to check it again and see if that works. Beautiful. So I like the way it's, it's handling the edge. If you want it softer, of course, you can take it higher than that. But for now, we are going to be working with this. So now having, having decided the feather we are working with, I'm going to make a selection of this area. Just like this. Go to my filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur, then increase it. So I'll just keep increasing the blur until that area starts looking so. So for this image, I think somewhere around 22 would work. Or let's just keep it at a round, num round number, 25. Press enter. So I'm just going to still apply same thing 
across these areas. Now, to apply the same thing without going into your filter and blur and all of that, just right click over your image and go to Gaussian Blur. It's going to just apply it right there for you. So you do it like that all over the skin. So let's just keep going around the image. We'll try here as well. Press enter, do the same thing over here. Good. Come down here, do the same thing. Nice one. Do the same thing over here. Beautiful. Do the same thing over here. Okay. Nice, set it in over here. Let's even look at the before and after what we've done. This is the before, this is the after. So just a little bit of uh, applying this effect on specific areas. You're already seeing how smooth our image is becoming gradually. We are beginning to create something quite beautiful and unique on our images, which is the idea of this tutorial so we'll do the same thing down here so i think i selected a little bit too much here so i just minus that by holding my alternate so you can decide to apply two times in a particular area like here i felt it needed it two times then we'll do the same thing over here same thing here i think this place needs it like two times So just take your time and go around your image and make sure you apply it on every necessary area you need to apply it because that is how you create that smooth skin that you are looking for. Good. So we'll go back. I think this area needs it. Beautiful. All right, let's go back and see how that works. Come over to the face and know if there is any area we missed. I think we missed here. Good. All right, now let's just take care of a few blemishes that we left over here. So you can just go back to your texture layer, pick up your clean stamp, make sure the brush size is very, very tiny, and just start taking care of these um, blemishes that you could see. You can even decide to zoom out a little so that you'll see the ones that are obviously standing out in the image and take care of them very well. Of course, we're not going to be removing this eye line because of her smile. It feels to me that it's a smile line. So the moment we remove that place, the image is going to start looking flat or unrealistic or maybe fake because of that smile line. She's smiling and if her eye is folding as a result of that, then we have to retain it in the image. But in case you want to fix it, this is also how you fix it. Just make a selection around the area and just, you know, paint over it and it's going to be gone. Something like this. Then when you do it over the texture and it's not leaving, note that most of them is in the color. You just have to go back into your color and also do the same thing and you're going to see it go. But that is not what we're doing though. All right, so after doing this and you feel like, okay, I think I want a little bit of more smoothness to my image. One more thing you can do is to collapse this one. So after you have done that, press Ctrl J, press uh, Ctrl I to invert the image, then go to your normal, go to Vivid Light, make sure Vivid Light is turned on, then go to Filter, go to Order, go to High Pass. So this is where you determine how smooth it's going to turn out. I just needed to smooth somewhere around the forehead so I'm just going to zoom that area in and make sure I have it as smooth as I would want it to be at the end of the day. Yeah, press OK. I think this will, this worked for me. Then go to filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur. So this is where you determine the texture. So you just keep taking it back until 
you have it the way you want it to be press ok then hold your alternate and click on the mask to hide everything then pick up your brush you can take it low so that you don't you have kind of a control over what you are doing and you just paint over this area that you want to paint because me i want to paint just this area so all right just a little bit here same thing over here so let's check out the before and after all those hard edged textures that are there we'll just take care of them all right so this is the before this is the after just very subtle change to take care of some hairs also that are on the skin then press okay now let's just quickly do a very big color gradient on the object and to do that we're going to be using uh, a color lookup table so let's just load it up and of course you are getting it free in this particular video so you just have to download yours and see how that works for your own image so we are going for 3d cube all right okay so let's try coffee brown let's see how that works on our image okay so i think this is too much of course you can just decide to target her skin so let's just quickly target only her skin and be able to separate it from the background i don't i don't like what it's doing to the green so we'll just make a selection of the subject all right so right click and um control j so once you do that oh sorry i'm not supposed to invert the selection just press ctrl j so that we'll have our object on a different layer so we can delete this create a mask for it go to select go to color range just to be able to you know get that color range on her because if we didn't do the separation it's also going to be picking what we'll have in the background so press ok then use the mask to replace this one you can now delete this so when you open up your color grading now you will notice that it's just applying on her skin so to keep it very realistic we'll keep it somewhere around 50 50 is still too much okay, keep it somewhere around 39 the before the after the before the after the before the after we can do one more thing we can go to uh, our gradient map go straight into legacy gradients down here then go to photographic toning and just select something that looks also very close to that press ok change the blend mode to normal or any other blend mode that works for you i think for, uh, soft light does the job for me hold your alternate and copy this mask so have it also on her skin then reboot it as much as you can then we'll brighten stuff up very quickly and we are good to go so let me show you a general overall before and after so let me take a snapshot down here so this was the image when we came into photoshop and this is the image after we are done doing one or two days of the image let me zoom in so you see the effect on her skin so this was the before this is the after this was the before this is the after thank you so much for watching this amazing video do make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and click on the notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video thank you